Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is filter transformation. What is filter transformation? Filter transformation is an active transformation. It is used to filter out the rows in a mapping. The filter transformation allows rows that meet the specified filter condition to pass through. Otherwise, it drops the rows that do not meet the condition. The filter condition returns true or false for each row that the integration service evaluates depending on whether a row meets the specific condition or not. The can if the row returns true, then the integration service allows to pass through the transformation. For each row that returns false, then integration service drops it. Now let we will see one small example. We are going to use one uh, human resource table that contains employee data. Here is the data available with us. And uh, the source contains around 15 rows. We will see how we are going to implement the filter transformation. We have to go to the Informatica Power Center Designer and there is no need to tell how to launch the Informatica Power Center Designer and to create source and target. I assume that you already know how to create source and target. I will directly, I am directly going to the filter transformation. Filter transformation can be created by two ways. First, by clicking this icon, you can uh, create the filter transformation. Or otherwise, in the transformation, by clicking this create, you can get that filter transformation from this list. By clicking this also, you can create the filter transformation. Okay. If we will see how we are going to use the filter transformation. Normally the naming convention for this filter transformation is always starts with FIL. For mapping it starts with M underscore. For expression transformation it starts with EXP underscore. Like for filter transformation it, st it should start with FIL. It is the standard naming convention for filter transformation. It contains only two ports that is input port and output port. In the properties, the filter condition we have to specify. For example, if you want to filter out the salary of the employees who are receiving more than 2000 means, then we have to specify the condition here. Salary greater than 2000. That means the employees receiving salary above 2000 will be filtered out and sent to the target. Then we will see how it's getting worked out. For that we have to create one workflow. Workflow already I have created. It is very easy to create the workflow. By just clicking this you can create the workflow. And session task you have to create and you have to connect one map to that session task. Okay. And you have to give the connection properties over here. Connection. Connection object you have to create and that uh, you have to set over here. In target, you have to change the target load type from bulk to normal. It should uh, it should always be normal. And we are going to insert the record so it should be clicked. Okay. After this, we are going to execute it. For that, let me will refresh it issues let me will see what happens it's running now and get succeeded okay around six rows got filtered and sent to the target now we will see the target this is the target amp underscore filter these are all the employees who are receiving salary above 2000. It has got filtered out. Okay, six records. Now, one performance tuning tip 
I will give. Normally, we have to place the filter transformation as close to the source in the mapping to maximize the session performance. Why it means we can filter out the unwanted data early in the flow of data from source to target. Okay. Now we are going to see how we are going to fill how we are going to use the filter transformation to filter the null values. To filter the rows containing null values or spaces, we have to use the function is null and is spaces. Okay. For example, if you want to filter out the rows that contain null value in e name port, here there is one employee available employee record available in the EMP table with the e name null. That means that employee name has not got recorded in the HR table. Here that e name is null. We want to filter out the records which doesn't contain the employee name. That means if the employee name is null, we should not allow the record to the target. So what we have to do is we have to change the filter condition. We will see now how we are going to change it. As we have changed the code that uh, we have to refresh the map and here this condition states what does it means the if condition is null e name false comma true that means this condition states if the employee name port is null means the name is not there means then the return value is false and the row should be discarded that means that null values should not be allowed so false means it should it should not be allowed the other things the if the record is not null if the e name is not null means then the record should be allowed so what is going to happen here is we will see okay before that we have to delete that six records uh, we have forgotten that No, actually that no we will uh, run that workflow around 14 will be moving to the target okay here the record will be around 14 because that one record has got filtered out that uh, E name is null no that record which contains the uh, that means the record which is having null value is filtered out now it contains only 14 records okay and this is the way we are going to handle the filter transformation bye